After Dragon Wick, Vincent next appeared in the 1947 film noir thriller Moss Rose, based on the Joseph Shearing novel The Crime of Laura Sorrell. The story begins with a young blonde woman named Rose Linton on board a train recounting how she will never forget the following tragic events no matter how many miles she puts behind her. The story is then told in flashback to Victorian London with occasional narration by Rose. Rose recalls how she was working as a line dancer in a theater when her fellow dancer and best friend Daisy was killed. She came home late one evening to discover a man in a white coat, played by Victor Mature, leaving Daisy's apartment. Inside, she found her best friend dead, sprawled across her bed. There was an open Bible on the bed beside her with a single rose lying across it. Enter Inspector Klenner, played by Vincent Price, and Deputy Inspector Evans, played by Reese Williams. They determined that Rose was drugged and smothered. They inquire about the Bible and are told that Daisy didn't own one. Vincent is a horticultural expert and identifies the flower as a moss rose, a variety that is out of season at the moment. Well, she wasn't much for baubles or flowers. Poor thing, they both are a great blessing. I don't know what I should do without my garden. Seems to be a well-grown moss rose. After the police leave, Rose recalls seeing the same man get into a cab with Daisy the previous evening. After a bit of detective work, she manages to get the man's name from the cab driver. His name is Michael Drago, and she shows up at his apartment and attempts to blackmail him. He initially refuses, but after an interrogation at the police department, he agrees to meet to discuss her terms. They meet on a fog-shrouded bridge late one night. Turns out she isn't after money, however. What she really wants is to live the lifestyle of the rich, something she's dreamed of her entire life. Drago agrees to let her stay at his house for two weeks, and they concoct a story explaining that she helped him out of a spot of trouble, and he invited her to stay with him by way of thanks. Once there, she meets Michael's fiance, Audrey, played by Patricia Medina, and mother, Lady Margaret Drago, played by Ethel Barrymore. Audrey is none too happy with the idea of this strange woman staying with them, but Lady Margaret takes an immediate liking to Rose. However, all is not as it seems at the peaceful country estate, as Rose learns when she wanders accidentally into a sealed room containing all of Michael's carefully preserved childhood playthings, much to Lady Margaret's displeasure. Police Inspector Clinton and Evans also turn up at the estate and discover that there is an arbor of moss roses there, moss roses that are in season year-round. The conclusion that Moss Rose is full of twists and turns, and Rose herself ends up in danger, drugged and almost smothered just as her friend Daisy had been. The police arrive just in time to save the day and catch the killer. Moss Rose was directed by Gregory Radoff for 20th Century Fox and was one of three films released in theaters in the same week featuring Vincent Price, giving audiences in May of 1947 multiple opportunities to see Vincent on the big screen. Ethel Barrymore, who played Lady Margaret Drago, was a member of the famous Barrymore family, sister to famed actors Lionel and John Barrymore, and great aunt to current actress Drew Barrymore. Vincent would meet Victor Mature, who played Michael Drago, three more times on screen in the 1950s. Peggy Cummins, who played Rose in this film, would go on to star in one of my all-time favorite movies, the Jacques Tournay classic, Curse of the Demon. Also appearing in this movie in a very brief cameo is George Zuko as Lady Margaret's butler. This was Vincent's one and only appearance with this horror legend. After Moss Rose, Vincent's contract with 20th Century Fox expired and he wisely chose not to renew it. Rather than continue as just another contract player in bit parts for Fox, Vincent was now free to be more selective with his roles and choose parts that fully showcased his talents. He wouldn't work again with Fox until 1958 in The Fly. Next up for Vincent after Moss Rose was the 1947 film noir, The Web. That's curious. I seem to have completely forgotten it.
Thanks a lot, Citibank. You had to make your Visa and MasterCard better than other banks. Just by using them, we earn bonuses called City Dollars. Now, they could have saved us up to 40% on a color TV or a stereo. But we used ours to get something strictly for Vincent's amusement. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> Citibank's Visa and MasterCard. It's Citibank that makes them better.